Hi, everybody. It's Bonkai 922. Fairy Tale, Chapter 314, Urza vs. Kagura. Beginning part of this chapter, we have Jial, and um, he's talking to Meredy and Altair. They're basically talking about, you know, future Lucy and the whole thing she pro prophesies and everything. And he's just saying he's not sure if that's true. There's something wrong behind what she said. And then we go into the fight between Urza and Cocker. Urza brings out the wheel, sword wheel, um, does a few moves on her. Uh, Panagram, I think it was called. Panagram. And, but that doesn't do anything. Kagra then smacks her down. They go through a hole. And she tries to bring up the adamant, doesn't do anything. It's obvious Kagra is very powerful. Everyone in Fairy Tales watching. She then tries to do the, the really fast armor she has, you know, the Panther. Sonic thing. Doesn't do anything. She gets knocked down. On the ground. They're on the ground. They go through this 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 hole. Onto the ground. And it's obvious that Urza is getting her ass kicked here. Joten said it himself. Ass beaten. Then we... Um... Have the thing with... Her talking to... Them each other. And oh, Urza is saying, oh, is this way the strength you got for sake of, of killing Gial? And she... You know, Kagura kicks her. And Kagura... I fucking hate her. I fucking hate Kagura. After this chapter, hate her. She doesn't even give... She doesn't deserve... She deserves... A slow... Painful... Death. That's what she deserves. So... She kicks her, uh, kicks her, hits her again when she says about, you know, don't involve Meliana in this. Um, and she's like saying, it's that my intent as well to kill Gial. And then she's screaming, what happened? You know that man very well. Seaman was, who was killed by him, was my older brother. So, the whole point is... You're Simon Simon's sister, sister, and you're getting revenge. That's why. Okay. So that's where that's what basically is resolved. That's what was shown. Uh, and she said we were poor but happy. However, having happiness ended with a children hunt fifteen years ago. I managed to escape for you looking for my brother until she found Meliana and found out that he died by Gial's hand. And then she, Urza says that she didn't see Simone get killed. I was the only ones who saw it were myself, Natsu, and Jial, and Simon. It's Jial's fault that Simon died, but he didn't kill him. And she says I did. And Malkar was like, "Mean face." And, and, and Kagura. Jump the fuck off! This isn't Naruto. Oh, better not say that. I'll get I get angered fans. But it, it, she's acting like Sasuke. She's like, Ugh, I'm angry because my brother died. Oh really? Oh, well, oh, get. It's called moving on. <laughs> so, and she's like saying, No, it's the truth. My weakness killed Simon. And then all of Mermaid Heel is telling Kagura. Do not pull out that sword. Do not pull it out. Okay. And she sees memories of her brother. And then the page was pretty awesome that Hero did. On page 21. Which, what I liked about it was the half of her face was black. And her hair was really black and dark. And I was like... Wow. And then 
we see the final page as she's pulling out the sword. Urza saying, I'm sorry. It says, the tears of atonement running down her cheeks transform into splashes of blood impossible to undo. And we see Jial is the Jial was the first thing you saw in this chapter, and he was the last thing you saw in this chapter. Because at the very end of the page, you have you know the, 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 the judges in awe, fairy tales in awe. Uh, Makarov looks like he just saw a ghost. So then we see Jial, and the next chapter is called 315 Rose Mary. Now here's the title of this review. Dead Bitch Walking. It's very simple. If Urza is dead, Kagra will die. I'll say it again. If Urza is dead, Kagra's dead. Because I tell you right now, now this might have been a good move, but Urza? Get some dollars. For what? I don't know. Just... Oh, I'm sorry to do. I'm going to take a shower. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway. Is... <sighs> Cogra's dead. Okay, I, I don't give a shit. If Urza is dead, literally speaking, if she is dead, next chapter, heads are going to roll. Why do I say that? It's very simple. If you think no one is in fairy tale is going to go after Kagura, you're mistaken. Now, I got a message also from somebody else saying, and by the way, this gets a 5 out of 5. No questions asked, this gets a 5 out of 5. If Urza's dead, Natsu is going to fucking destroy. Not just Natsu, probably most of fairy tale is going to fucking destroy. That guild hall. They will go to where they're staying, Mermaid Hill, and they will destroy it. They will blow it up. And they will take Kagra, put her in front of a firing squad, and. I'm telling you guys right now. Like dead bitch walking. She's worse than Minerva? She's worse. This is what happens to characters who say, Oh, you killed my brother. I'm going to kill you. You become a Sa you I'm not a Sasuke. You just become hatred. 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 Filled with hatred, malice, revenge. And you become evil. This is the moral of revenge. Now, if it is an Urza, but Meliana and Minerva, is standing right there, and she stares at Kagura. Stares at Kagura and says, Well, it's true what they say. Revenge is a dish best served cold. And you, my friend, are the coldest, heartless, person I have ever met. More than me. Kagura loses it. She goes after Minerva. Uh, Meliana is bleeding on the floor. Uh, Urza gets up. If that happens, eh, that would be interesting. That would be a real twist. Because then it's like, holy shit! Kagura, Kagura gets annihilated. <laughs> that happens. He gets annihilated. However, people have been telling me, with that, saying, Rosemary, that's the next chapter. Next chapter is called Rosemary. Rosemary. And saying it's departing. It's all oh, Urza's dead. I'm saying this. 
The jury is still out, ladies and gentlemen. The jury's still out. Jury's still out. Come on. Come on. Oh, by the way, I have a lot of, before I continue with this review of my thoughts on this, uh, I got a lot of chapters to do tonight. Taco Tai came out. Kanichi. And that other show I said I was going to review for the new year, Sane. The Sane I told you guys about, that came out as well. So that means I had to do like three chapter reviews more. But anyway, like I was saying, that would, I think, be more impactful. Because here's the thing. If Urza is dead, like I said, I'm pretty sure... Now, it, it smells like that. You know, like, oh, Urza's dead. You know, let's all jump on the bad wagon. She's dead. You know, because if that's the truth, Natsu is going to kill... Kagura. And everyone from Fairy Tail is going to kill Kagura. They're going to put her in front of a firing squad. She's a dead bitch walking. And this is what happens to people who are obsessed over revenge. These characters are stupid. I understand you're, you're grieving. Oh, uh, uh, she all killed my brother and I have to kill him now. Well, instead of that, you're going to kill Urza. Oh, by the way, Urza's got friends. Oh, just to let you know, they're going to be after you now. Oh, dead bitch walking. There's the grave. It's big hole with your name on it, Kagura. I'm sorry, but she's, 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 she's dead. She's dead meat. Ship her to the wolves. Ship her to the fucking wolves. So... Urza got her ass beat. I'm upset, but here's the thing. If Urza's dead, I will watch, I will read the entire chapter next week. But if Urza is dead, officially, I have to think about the future of Fairy Tail. What does that mean? With this kind of chapter, with what happened? This character here, I don't know. Now, if she is dead, and he gets a ton of character development, fine. But the only way I'm going to say I'm going to stick with Fairy Tail is if Natsu starts really acting like, oh my god, he almost acts like... He almost goes to the point where he's willing and able to kill someone. That's, that, lead, that, that, that leaves to be, be seen. We have to see about that. Because remember, here's the thing. Urza, we go back, and, and this is the last thing I want to bring up. Tower of Heaven. Uh, she could have died there. And you saw how Natsu acted in her funeral. So if this would have happened for real, and Natsu found out who did it, uh, what's stopping him from going, holy shit, I'm gonna fucking rip your throat out. And it would be funny if after this confrontation, oh, Mermaid Heel comes to Urza's funeral. Natsu looks at them and says, get the fuck out. He punches Cog, this would be, and, and this is food to thought to think about. Because I think if she does die and this does happen, Oh man, I would love to see this happen. He looks at Kagra like, uh, you better get out of here now before I, and without a second thought, punches her in the face, bashes her head against the pavement. Mariana gets pushed away by Natsu and says, you don't come anywhere near Fairy Tale ever again. Because of you, Urza's is dead. Because of you, Urza is dead. Because of Mermaid Heel, Urza is dead. I don't want to see you ever again. I will never, ever forgive you, Miliana, and forgive you, Kagura. And I hope you burn... Nah, he won't say that, but you get my gist. That's what I want to see happen. If Urza dies. If she dies, I will see. I... I had contemplated to myself that I was going to say, 
break from it. But I'm giving it a shot. I still don't think Urza is dead, though. I think Minerva came in and said, Here's Mariana. Because just because it says that doesn't mean, well, it could mean Urza. But it doesn't really mean, it couldn't, you know what I mean? I, I, I know what people are they're saying, they're gunning for, oh, Urza's is dead, Urza's is dead. But, really think about it. Really think about it. Because if Urza's is dead, <laughs> I can tell you right now what's going to happen. Over Akari, he's going ham. He's going ham. He loves Urza. He's going ham. So overall, that's my thoughts on it, this chapter. Uh, tell me what you guys think. This was a great chapter, even though it happened what happened. I mean, I, it came out of nowhere. I was like, I was pretty good at jury duty. Yeah, I was pretty good at jury duty. And I was like, holy shit. I read that. I read Kenichi. Kenichi was pretty good, too. I'll do a review of that later. And I also read um, the new show, The Saining. I didn't read Tag on Time yet. I have to get to that later. But overall, great chapter of Fairy Tale. Tell me what you guys think. It's from Balkan 22. I'll see you guys later. <sighs> Wait and see you next week. Oh man, is there a dead? Calgary's a dead bitch walking. That's all I gotta say. See ya.